let's take a look at a question on the topic of integration to find the equation of a curve given f prime prime x, which is the second derivative. So to find the equation of curve, which is y equals to fx, you need to do two times of integration. And when you do two times of integration, you are going to find two constants. Therefore, you need to have the information, extra information. So usually the question will give you gradient and a point. But this question is a bit interesting. It didn't give you the gradient directly. We'll look at it later. So let's start this question by first doing the first integration. So now from f prime prime x, if I integrate this one here, what you will get is we will lower this down to f prime x. So I'll do the same on the right here. So if I integrate this one here, I'm going to write the symbol of integration. This expression followed by dx. Now let's do a simple integration of 2x. Raise the power, 2 power 2, divide by the power, which is 2. Integration of exponent, copy the entire expression. Divide by coefficient of x squared, in this case is negative 2. And remember, there's no limit here, so I'm going to write constant plus c. So let me simplify this one here. 2 divided by 2 is gone. Let me write down x squared. Let me do this one as well. Negative, negative. So it's positive. I write the half here and continue writing e to the power 1 minus 2x plus c. Now let's take a look at the information here. We are given the tangent to the curve. I do not know what a curve is. What I'm going to do is I'll just anyhow sketch a curve. And I know that this straight line, tangent y equals to 5 over 12, is touching the curve at this point. We are given a point where the x value is half. So what we know here that this x value is half, which means this point, the coordinate is going to be half comma 5 over 12 because it's on this line as well. Now what happens is the gradient is hidden. So that's a horizontal line. So we know that for horizontal line, the gradient. So in this case, we are using f prime x instead of dy dx. So I'm going to write at this position, f prime x is equal to 0. That's the gradient at this specific point. So next line here, we need to find c. I need to substitute the gradient f prime x as 0. And I can substitute the x value as half. Alright, so let's simplify this one here. So we have 0 equals to 1 over 4 plus this one could be e power 0. So I get half here. So moving these two over there. So I have c value as negative 3 over 4. So let me continue. We're going to replace c over here and write down f prime x now equals to x squared plus half e1 minus 2x. c value is negative 3 over 4. Let's do again integration step from f prime x. Integrate will give me fx. So on the right hand side, we're going to do the same integration of this expression here. Let me write down the integration sign of this whole expression. So followed by what am I integrating with, which is dx. Let's do integration again. Now I'm going to raise power, divide by power. So that's going to be x power 3, divide by 3. So exponent part, let me write plus, I'm going to write the half here and I'm going to copy the exponent part, divide by coefficient of x which is negative 2 and integration of constant here will lead you to 3 over 4x. So next, just now we have used c as constant, so now let me place the constant as d value. And we also know that fx is equal to y. y equals to fx is given in question. So fx here, let me replace it with y here. Okay, because next will be easier for you to see this xy, which is the coordinate over here. Let me place it down. 
for y value, I'm going to insert as 5 over 12. For x value, is half. Okay, so continue from here. Let me join these two together, okay? So I'm going to do 2 times negative 2, so I put negative here, and I put 1 over 4, and I'm going to replace x at this position, this is half. Continue, replacing x as half. Next step, you might want to simplify a bit before you insert to your calculator. So let me just simplify this part here, which is 1 over 24 minus 1 over 4. So I'll be e power 0. Then next part here, 3 over 8 plus d. So using your calculator, moving these three terms to the left, so 5 over 12 minus 1 over 24 plus 1 over 4 plus 3 over 8 in your calculator, you'll be getting d value equals to 1. Now, do remember the last step. Let me conclude again. Equation of curve y equals to, we're going to write back this one here. So, up to you. You can write x cubed over 3 or 1 over 3 x cubed. That's up to you. Let me just write again as 1 over 3 x power 3. And this part here, I've combined this plus and this minus to be minus. And I'm going to write 2 times 2. So, I'm going to write 1 over 4 e power of 1 minus 2 x minus 3 over 4 x and replacing d as plus 1.